What is up everybody, Expi Chicken Soup here. Welcome to part two of my seamless Instagram collage tutorial. So, a little backstory. When I first started making this Instagram collage, I actually lost a lot of followers. People probably weren't used to seeing something so bizarre and different. I was very amateur when I first started too. I actually archived so many like beginning posts, which I'm gonna show you guys an exclusive preview right here. I'm glad I never gave up because two years later, this crazy Instagram has given me so many career opportunities. It's a very saturated market out there and um, people want to see new, different and unique things. So for those of you who are not afraid to be the odd one in the room, I made this tutorial series just for you. In part one, I explain all the basic fundamental steps on how to create a seamless Instagram collage watch that video if you haven't. In this part, I'm gonna give you guys five really cool tips and tricks on how to turn your basic Instagram collage into something that is a little bit less basic. Just kidding. It's gonna look super cool. So, let's begin. So, here's what my collage currently looks like on Instagram. Let's import a new layer and make some magic. The key to making a seamless Instagram collage is you gotta make different photos look like they're a part of each other. For example, see that guy on the left? What's up, Brian? I wanna make his shoe stick out to the layer below. Back then, I would try to crop out the selection surrounding his shoes. But the problem with that is that I won't be able to make a perfect straight line since I have to eyeball the selection. Amateur. This is what I have learned to do instead. Trace around the shoe. Select copy and paste. Now I have a shoe layer on top of the original layer. This will allow me to make that straight line that I envisioned. Let's do the same thing with Orlando standing on the right, but this time, I will select his entire body instead of just his shoe. You see why later. The second tip I want to give you guys in this tutorial is how to create shadows to add depth to your collage. There are two ways you can do this and each depends on the situation. The first, using the soft brush tool. Create an empty layer below our subject. Paint around the shoes. Go to adjustment, select Gaussian blur, and drag your finger to the right until you're happy with how the shadow looks. I'm gonna use the eraser tool to clean up the shadow around the back of his shoes to make it a little more realistic. And ta-da! The second way to create a shadow, duplicate this layer. Go to adjustment, decrease the brightness of the duplicated layer to make it black. Then Gaussian blur it until you're happy with the result. The reason why I'm not telling you exactly how much to blur is simply because I think everyone should experiment with what looks good to them. Moving on to the third tip, this is actually a huge secret of mine, which I'm going to review. <laughs> so, I want to give our image more depth by adding a structure perpendicular to what we currently have. First, I'm going to crop out the unwanted parts. Remember from before when I decided to copy and paste Orlando's entire body instead of just his shoe? This allowed me to quickly crop out the background without having to trace around Orlando a second time. All right, so this is what we have. Time for the secret review. Free stock images. 
Yep, there are no better ways to utilize beautiful free stock images on the internet than using them as elements of our collage. My favorite website for stock images is unsplash.com, which is also available on the App Store. You can search for anything you can think of and something will pop up. In my case, I need to look for a structure that complements the current image. Tip number four, make your own clip art. This is something I started doing just recently. Instead of cropping out elements directly on the canvas, I'm doing so separately so that I can have a library of clip arts to use again in the future. I'm always thinking of ways to make my time more efficient, so if you guys have any tips related to that, please let me know. Alright, back to our collage. Let's import the clip art we just created. And it's the same thing from here on. So while I'm fine tuning this image, let me tell you guys another backstory. Early in my career as a content creator, I was deciding whether I should learn Photoshop or Procreate. I had zero experience in neither of those applications. But my mindset has always been, be different. Photoshop is an awesome skill to have, but I saw that there were so many Photoshoppers in the market. Procreate, that's different. I'm different. So I decided to invest my time to learn Procreate. The funny story is this app was designed to draw. It wasn't designed to do something like this, but because I was too stubborn on the idea of wanting to be different that I figured out how to do this collage thing instead. And yeah, it's been a freaking journey. <laughs> All right, we're done. Please watch my first video to learn how to crop this canvas into individual squares. Tip 5. Let me show you how to export your collage as a vertical post instead of a square. If you watch my first video, you learn that every Instagram post has a dimension of 1080 times 1080 pixels, which is a square. Whatever you post on Instagram, it will appear as a square on the feed. That means you can add an extra 175 pixels on top and bottom of the square and turn it into a rectangle without affecting the seamlessness of your collage. For a vertical post, the dimension will be 1080 times 1350 pixels. Import our image. Now, we'll also import the square above this one. Drag it on top. Procreate now has a snapping feature to help us move things around more precisely. Thank you, Procreate. Do the same thing for the bottom. And there you have it. And that's it for part two, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part three because that's when I'm going to show you how to turn your collage into videos. What? Yep. Um, please send me questions give me advice if you guys have any i am so excited to build this community of collage makers on instagram i think we should come up with a hashtag or something let's call it hashtag expire game if you're making a collage using this tutorial please hashtag expire game so i can check out your work and i can't wait to see everything ah thank you guys see you next time